Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter E-Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to replace the membrane in a reverse osmosis system like this one. Now there's a few different variations uh, out there, but this is the most common type of reverse osmosis system, and this type is uh, very simple to change the membrane. So first of all, you have to figure out if it's actual time to, to replace your membrane. Membranes last anywhere from two to eight years. It really depends on the chemistry of your water and also whether you have a water softener or not. The membrane will last much longer on softened water than it will on hard water. So to figure out whether it's time to replace yours or not, you really need a TDS meter. And because what TDS measures the parts per million, parts per million mineral content of your water. So a reverse osmosis system removes approximately 90% of the mineral content from your water. So you can, um, you can determine whether it needs to be replaced or not by comparing the mineral content of the water that's flowing out of your regular kitchen tap to the mineral content of the water flowing out of the reverse osmosis faucet. So, and like I say, it should be if, for example, if the water uh, flowing out of your kitchen faucet is 500 parts per million measured with the TDS meter, then the water flowing out of the reverse osmosis faucet should be 50 parts per million or less. If it's higher than 20%, in other words, this water flowing out in this example is 100 or higher, then it's time to replace your uh, membrane. Okay, so to replace the membrane in a system like this, it's actually quite straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is shut off the water flowing to the system. You want to open up the faucet to make sure no water flows out and also shut off the tank that services the reverse osmosis system. So once there's no more water flowing out, then what you can do is you can uh, disconnect the tubing going into the large end of the membrane housing. And to do that, you just hold in the little collar and pull out the tubing like that. Once that's free, you can lift up this end. Now, there will be some water spilling out of this, so you may want to make sure there's a bucket around here or some towels to capture the water. So then what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the large cap on the end of the membrane housing, and we're going to set that aside. And then with a pair of needle nose pliers, we're going to grab the end of that um, membrane and twisting it, we're going to slide that membrane out of there. Okay, so then we would discard the old membrane and uh, the new membrane, we would use some plumber's clear silicone grease like this here and we would coat the O-rings on this end. We would also coat this large ring at this end here, the large seal. So once we've done that, then we would slide the membrane back into the housing and push it all the way in. Again, using the plumber's uh, clear silicone grease, we would coat uh, the O-ring that's inside the cap and also the O-ring around the outside here. And then we'd want to tighten the end, the cap, onto the membrane housing and then reconnect the tubing by sliding it all the way in, making sure it's all the way in and then pull it back to make sure it's locked in place. Snap this back down. So now we turn on the water to the reverse osmosis system, make sure that we don't have any leaks. And the next thing we want to do is we want to flush the housing. Inside the reverse osmosis membrane, they always have a preservative. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill up the whole system, open up the, the tank again so that the whole system is operational. Um, let it go for two hours to fill up totally. Then you're going to open up the faucet and let all the water run out until it slows down to a trickle. Then you're going to shut off the faucet, let it fill up again, and do that again. You're going to flush it three times to make sure you've removed all the preservative from that uh, new membrane. Once you've done that, you can taste the water. Assuming it all tastes fine, you're good to go. If it tastes a little bit funny, flush it again. It will clear and your water will taste great once again. If you like what we saw today, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, we've got lots of information on there and uh, um, so, some great info and if you subscribe you'll be notified of all the new videos as they become available. Also I'd really appreciate it if you could share uh, this video on social media and, and like um, our, um, our Facebook pages. That being uh, the Water Filter E-Store and the Water Store Midland. Again, Gary the Water Guy, thanks for watching.